So it's been a week of big announcements and opening ceremonies. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. So, Olympics. Olympics is Here next is. week. Yes, I'm excited personally. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. the Olympics. It's, it's, um, you end up just watching the most random sports. It's brilliant. Spent a wonderful afternoon watching water polo yesterday, <laughs> um, which is great. Not even any British teams in it, but it was good fun. Mm. Um, watched the cycling road race, which went on for six hours yesterday. That yeah. was mad. There's a lot of people hitting the deck as well. <sighs> yes, but anyway, golf next week. Mm. Ricky Fowler's there. Yeah. Sent loads of pictures across yeah. in the opening ceremony. He's really sucked it up, hasn't he? He's really sort of got right into it. Yeah, yeah. They're all sort of heading out. I know Rose is already there. He was mm -hmm. there for the opening yeah, ceremony. Yeah, Rose is, Rose is enjoying it as I well. I think Danny he? Willett either left yesterday right. or today. Well, he's going out, so he's going to have it there for a yeah. week before he gets. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be good. Yeah, enjoy it. And if you're. Oh. It's just amazing, isn't it? Amazing for golfers to be able to. Yeah. I think Ricky Fowler's quote was the greatest. He says, "It's like it's like living a dream you never expected to never have." Never expected to have. Yeah. Um, and if, you know, you go with that attitude. You're going to enjoy it. Definitely, yeah. You just embrace it for what it is, and whatever yeah. happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. And it will be a good tournament because there's some really good players there. Yeah. There's some great yeah. chance of someone that necessarily hasn't done anything before mm. to shine. And it's obviously on a golf course that. None of them have played before, so no. in terms of that, they're all learning it at the same time. So yeah. no one's going to have no yeah, advantage there. Yeah, will be there. interesting. The other big announcement this week. Yeah. Mm, Nike. Nike. Nike Golf are not making golf clubs anymore. No clubs or balls from Nike anymore. So. So it's just apparel and footwear. So as we. What do you think about that? We've both got Nike clubs in our bag. You carry driver. I carry a rescue. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things. It's a big announcement. That's like for who they've got in the stable. Like that's a massive, massive call. Yeah, it's not. But even... it just shows how big that company is that they can just make that call. Yeah. You just give it the old. Oh, no, nah, it's not working. They've just Don't. drawn a line in it. But it's it's the it's the amount of money and investment and effort they've put into making golf equipment mm -hmm. and starting to make some products that people are really, putting in their yeah. bags. Um. So yeah. So obviously you've like. Yeah. Brooks Kepka said in his interview this week, feel sorry for the employees over at Fort Worth. Yeah. yeah obviously massive facility, isn't they've it? left Where other the companies, is. gone to Nike with the promise of all of this stuff, and, you know, made a good effort of it for, what, 10, 12 years, something yeah. like that, probably not even, yeah. maybe that. And, um, and yeah. yeah, so good luck to all the employees and It'll finding new places. It'll be interesting to see where everyone goes now. Could we get a target? Rory. Are there going to be some... There'll be a few checks floating around, It'll I would have said. It will be very interesting. <laughs> be very interesting. Right, European Tour this week. Yeah, Castle Stewart. No, not no, Castle Stewart. That was a few weeks ago. Archfield Links. Archfield Links. Paul Laurie same, match same play. Part of the yeah. part of the country. It's nice to see some events in Britain, isn't it? Yeah, it is, you know? yeah. And a match play event as well, which yeah. is obviously very rare for the European Tour. And with Ryder Cup coming up, very appropriate. Unfortunately, all the boys that... Well, most of the lads that would have been in the reckoning mm -hmm. and up for getting the Ryder Cup places yeah. are all out. They're all out. <laughs> but that's the way match play goes. Yeah. And we've got two players who are probably fighting for a potential wild card pick. If mm -hmm. They prove themselves through yeah, match yeah. play this week. They might get something because we all know in Ryder Cup it's singles that yeah. really is where your wild cards need to prove yeah. themselves. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, because they're definitely going to have to play. Mm. So. Finalist Anthony Wall versus Alex Noren. Yeah, and Alex Noren was impressive yesterday. He's been impressive for a few weeks, haven't we? We've spoke about him Seven before. under three the first six holes. You know you're in a contest when the lad sets off like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, where are you going to go? Uh, I think Noren will do him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think the scoring will. I better have Anthony Wall then in a two horse race. Yeah. <laughs> so, at least one of us will it's be right this week. It's good to see Fisher doing well as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's, like, he's had a good week. Is he still with Nike? Yes. He is, yeah, because yeah. he was one of the first sort of mm. English guys to be with Nike, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so our third, fourth, Ollie Fisher versus James Morrison. Mm. We shall see. Do you want to call that one? We can call that one. Uh, I'm going to go James Morrison. Ollie Fisher, 
Yes. Right. US tour, PGA. Yeah, the Travellers. Travellers. Cool event, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. And obviously, there's a few lads there. They're going to be going to be going over as well. Mm -hmm. So, getting some last minute practice in. Yeah. Do you see uh, Bob Watson with Patrick Reed on the tee? Oh, sing Happy Birthday. Yeah. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> put the cupcake on top and he flipped his driver over and put the candle out with his, jam. With his driver swing and then, yeah, got everyone around the tee to sing Happy Birthday to him. Yeah, he's a great, he's a great character, <laughs> Bubba, and, and I think Patrick Reed has got a good sense of humour, as though yeah. it doesn't always come across. I think he's actually quite fun. I saw the interview when they were the um, American commentator was trying to egg him on to what other sports that he could do at the Olympics, mm. and he was like, "No, I'm not good enough for anything. I'm too heavy. I'm too slow. I can't jump." <laughs> she ended up convincing him that he should do synchronised swimming with Bubba Watson. Now that is something that would be hilarious. So. We have Daniel Berger at the top of the leaderboard. We do, yeah. Very appropriate for this week, as you'll see later mm -hmm. on. Uh, Russell Knox, uh, Russell Henley, Russell Henley Kepka. Brooks Kepka, Casey. There, there. Yeah, there's a few about. Yeah. So Daniel Berger's got a three-shot lead at 15 under. Yeah, and Russell Knox chasing him at 12, and then you got two mm. other lads at 12, and then one at 10. Then we're getting into the nines and the eights. And Which is a bit too I would far have said, back. Yeah, the nines and the eights are a bit too far back. So where are you going then? I'm staying European Tour. Okay. I'm going Russell Knox. Excellent. Potential so, World Cup player. Yeah, I would have said like he's got to. I think he's got to go through. I'm not sure what his qualifications like in terms of events played. Mm. So if he's got he has to go played some on European Tour, isn't yeah. He? So if he's got to go that way at it, then obviously a good finish here will go a long way to to get him a lot, enough points in that way. So it'd be nice to see him play. I think. Good player, played well over here in the like, yeah. sort of Middle Scottish of the and, yeah. and then into the British as well. So, yeah, Russell Knox for me. Excellent. I mean, I think Ryder Cup will sort of start to come more onto our radar after the Olympics. Because yeah. that will be then what we're really focusing it's, on. Yeah, and it won't be long either. No, it won't be long, no. Especially with um, tour championships and stuff in the way. So, I'm going to go Daniel Berger, mm. just because he is atop the leaderboard. Um, and you'll see probably you'll why, see why in, in a, a few minutes. While. So, tall versus small this week. Yes, and we have we have done what we said we were going to do. We have done drive off the knees this week. Mm -hmm. So, here it is. Enjoy. So, it's driver off the knees time this week. Um, not letting him use the kids' driver. I wanted this one. You're going to have to use this one. <laughs> Nearly as tall as you. So, I want to use this one. But I've got to use this one apparently. Yeah, full length drivers please, no kids clubs. Decent. Normal services resumed with driver and you and me. <laughs> two and two. Dummy. By distance. You carried it as far as I rubbed it. Woo! <laughs> so happy to get back to five all. I'm not I've been a bit... behind the whole way. <laughs> driver always feels quite long to me when I stood up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've got long monkey arms, so it's a bit, it's a bit the same for me. But yeah. Managed to get one somewhere near the middle. I weren't like overly disappointed with mine, it just didn't go no, anywhere. No, it is it is tough though, isn't it? You just feel like you're gonna just clang into the floor straight away yeah. before you hit the ball. So yeah. yeah, we did it. We didn't quite beat the two five six that was set by no. the Irish lads. That was very impressive. Yes, very um, well played. Yeah. But um we move on. Yes, indeed. And we shall have another challenge for you next week. So Lynx Master this week. Now this is what we thought might come last week, but it, it's come around this it's week. So we are very excited about this. Yeah, yeah. Like as we are both golf geeks, it's one of those things that to get these two guys on the show is amazing. So mm. firstly, thank you very much to Harrison yeah, for 
doing this for us. Yeah, for setting this up. So yeah. Harrison, if you guys don't know, um, is a junior member at our club, and um, he's co contacted us because his uncle is a caddy on the PGA Tour. And we're like, of course, oh, brilliant. If we could get him yeah. to do Lynx Master, that would be absolutely amazing. So his caddy, yeah, his uncle is Grant Berry, who's been on the caddy on tour for 30 years. He's seen and done it all. Mm. What he doesn't know, you don't need to know no. about golf, if no. I'm honest. He's caddy for some of the world's greatest players, as you'll see. And then he's got a friend. And a roommate this week. Yeah, who is Luke Donald's brother, Christian. Again, very impressive caddy. Yeah, very well caddy decorated. for some very, very top end players. Um, done Ryder Cups bits mm -hmm. and pieces. So, again, two very, very knowledgeable guys, and we're just really thankful for you taking the time, guys, to to, yeah, to send do it this across. do this for us and send it across to us. That's mm. really, really nice of you. So, you guys enjoy this. This is the PGA Tour caddy special, Lynx Master, and we thought we'd give them some tough questions. Let's see how they go on. What tournaments you've won and who you've caddied for? Can't do that. Too many. Too many. <laughs> Too many. Grant Berry, caddy for again. Daniel Berger. Won over 10 tournaments. Worked for 65 players. And we're at the TPC River Highlands. Playing, what are we, at the Travellers? Yep. Right. Tell them who you are. John and Chris. <laughs> I'm Christian Donald. Um, I work for Brendan Steele. And um, I've worked for four other players, including Luke Donald, Paul Casey, Martin Keimer, and Tom Lewis. And I've probably won over five events. Right, perfect. Right, shall we start the questions then? So the first question is, which famous brand has announced they are stop, they're going to stop making golf equipment this week? Nike. It'll be Nike for an Englishman and Nike if you're American. Right, okay. Well, right, you got that one correct. Not apparel and shoes either. Right, okay. Let me find... Right, so question two. This is for five points. Which player caddy combination messed up their club selection at the 2001 Open Championship, causing a two shot penalty and a driver Ian thrown Woosner. into a bush? Ian and Woosner. Miles Byrne. Miles Byrne. Right, perfect. Had an extra driver, noticed it on the second. Perfect. Right, question three. This is for five points as well. Uh, in the film Caddyshack, who does Bill Murray's character claim to have caddied for? The Dalai Lama himself. The Dalai Lama himself. Perfect. Correct. Another five. Right, uh, this is Guest the Golfer. He played American Golf... Uh, American Golfer who played college golf at Ohio State University. Jack Nicholas. <laughs> Perfect, well done. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this one's guess the year. This is 21 points if you get it spot on. So, the... this is, Who's your expert here? <laughs> right, so this is guess the year. So the Masters was won by Seve Ballesteros. Yes. The US Open was won by Larry Nelson. The Open was won by Tom Watson, and the US PGA was won by Hal Sutton. 1983. Four. <laughs> Three. Chris has got it right. <laughs> I told you the year, man. So you got one. Chris got five po 21 points off. We're a team. All right, fair enough. We'll do it that way then. <laughs> Minus 21. Oh, we'll celebrate with the chewing gum. Right, so let me just add up what you've got off. So... 100 minus right, yeah. 59 points. Is that good? I think that is the lowest so far. What is that, a week's prize in the manga? <laughs> I have no idea. But I will see when it gets submitted what happens. I think you might win the title of Lynx Master. So there you go. So. <laughs> Lynx Masters. Well, well they, we thought they were tough. We However, thought they were tough. Well, that is... I mean, play golf at Ohio State University. Normally, the five-point question nobody gets. No. And he's just gone, oh, yeah, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> what can you say? What can you say? Just flabbergasted. Yeah. Unlucky Dave Ball. Yeah, unlucky Dave. Because you've been joined. You've been joined. <laughs> and 
Our plan is to do a playoff Links Master special where we invite everybody back that's in the top um, four places to have another go during the PGA Tour playoffs. And if we can get these guys back on again, be, it would be amazing. Yeah. So comment below if you enjoyed it. As always, share the video around. Use the hashtag PGA Life 365. Tell these guys how much you enjoyed what watching them. Yeah, definitely. We've yeah. enjoyed watching it. We've enjoyed editing it. It's yeah, fantastic. So. Really, really good. A nice twist on it. Mm. So thank you very much again, Harrison. Yeah. Thank you, um, Grant and Christian. So just really appreciate you being on the show. Thank you very much. Excellent. And if you fancy having a go at the Lynx Master, if you think you've got as much knowledge as these guys, let us know. Indeed. So this week's Big Whack is very appropriate. Mm, yes, yeah, see if you can spot it. Hi, my name is Alf Sanford and this is my Big Whack. Alf uses a Ping I-25, 10.5 degree with a Ping 65 gram regular shaft. So, thanks for watching guys. It's been a great week of editing. and Certainly yeah, has. Thanks very much to everybody that participated in the show. Um, to the caddies, to Harrison for setting it all up. Indeed. Thank you very much. I hope you all enjoy watching the Lynx Master. And obviously, if you want to get involved at any point, just using the hashtag PGLive365. Um, do any of the, the challenges we've done. If you're doing trick shots on course, anything funny, golf-related that you'd like to send us, please just use the hashtag. Send it across to us. We will In terms it. of the big wax, mm. we're going to have the eye above us. So... You want to know how to record one just click on that that will show you how to record it and then just send it across send to us guys to us. yeah please get involved this show's for you we're going to be all about the olympics next week can't wait oh, we can't wait so we'll see you then thanks for watching cheers